all right what i'm doing now is i'm following the tips of local uh, real estate brokers some guys posted a uh, story online you know like best five spots for photography in edmonton alberta and this is number one no, i think it was like number two so this park is called uh, one second this park is called forest heights forest heights park so it's right next to this school catholic school and we on the this side south side of the river like downtown edmonton is on, on the other side and they were saying that from here you can see some you know interesting buildings but i'm not sure i want to go down like that i think they said they were taking pictures from the top of the hill But yeah, that goes down towards the river. See, the river is down there, huh? Now, we are in, in Edmonton, and just 10 minutes away from downtown, you have all this. Yeah, Alberta is, is super friendly for people that want to you know, exercise, bike, and walk. Yeah, I'm trying to find that spot that the guy said, he says, we went 20 feet on the hill, but you cannot go there, that's private property. All right. Okay, what about this? Yeah, because I clearly I don't want to go down because that then you lose you lose elevation. Okay, what we have here? Oh, check this out. Yeah, I remember the picture they posted was it was trees. And then you can see downtown. Oh yeah, I think I'm on the right path. I don't want to go towards the river. But well, this is beautiful. This is my favorite. All right, I think it was something like this. Yeah, yeah. I just need to find a gap. A gap in the trees. And there's free parking. So I parked my car over there and uh, now the second one after this I'm gonna go to I'll show you guys in case you're ever in Edmonton so this is a very cool place where I am right now um, where am I where am I oh, I'm over here for so forest forest heights and the next one I'm going to go to is called uh, Nelly's uh, Nelly's Park. Shoot. But it's somewhere. Somewhere here. Basically, it's alongside us. There's a bunch of. A lot of. Um, views. A lot of trails basically I'm walking alongside the river right but yeah I don't think I'm walking away I think the other one is called uh, Nelly's Park here we go Nelly McClan Park Nelly McClan Park yeah so that's where I'm going after this. Okay, hold on. Let's see. But the guy said, they said, oh, we're like 20 feet away. We walked 20 feet. 
All right. Okay, okay. I think it's this one. Yeah, check this out. Wow. Maybe I can take a picture of my phone. Yeah, that's what they did. From you need a gap in the trees. Okay, I think it's this. Yeah, this is the spot. Let me take a couple of shots here. This is funny. All right, I'm trying to find the gap between the trees to look at the downtown Edmonton, right? And I was over there. That's the school. And there's too many trees in there, right? And then I'm driving this way towards my next park, which was like on that list. They said it good views. And right from the road, <laughs> right from the road that goes down, I see unobstructed, beautiful view of downtown Edmonton. I'm like, what the heck? It's way better than over there where there's too many trees, right? And I turn my head and I see that there's benches on top of this. Like, look at this. There's benches on top of this hill, and you can go all the way down there. And yet, those guys, I don't think they, they ever mentioned this, you know? <laughs> so basically, once again, the axiom is never trust experts on the internet. Like, look at this. We don't have any frigging trees. You can see the downtown. And I was over there where there's too many trees. And this is beautiful. You see the river? No, I think actually, no, wait. I think they were giving this. Um, and I see in the distance, there's uh, under the bridge. Yeah, there's another there's another park in there. Because that bridge is a pretty, pretty popular, uh, pretty popular destination. But of course, my, uh, I got 300 millimeter lens. It's a bit too much, but yeah, this is way better. I, this is called uh, Sheridan Park, Sheridan Park. So we are still on south side of the river. That's uh, North Saskatchewan River. And this is gorgeous, man. <laughs> Those Rialta guys, they send me into the bushes, you know, whereas here you can just sit on this bench and take all the pictures you want all day long with no trees so basically yeah trust but verify and be super skeptical about advice you get on on the internet and um, the river goes kind of like like this it goes zigzagging around downtown and that bridge looks pretty cool change of plans i think i've seen enough of the downtown like this. i think in my opinion this is the best view so i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go to this park instead i want to go i asked a buddy of mine where's the most populated area is like where people are walking around and he says definitely check out 82nd Avenue, also known as White Avenue, W-H-Y-T-E, White Avenue. And I said, where does it start? Like the west side, because in Edmonton, it's kind of like Chicago streets, you know, here go south and north and avenues goes go west and east. And so he says, and you can find parking you can find parkings uh, near downtown. He says you can just stop on the, on the, on the side of the road. Mm. 
Yeah, we're not going to. All right, so now we're just going to the Shopper's Drug Mart, which is just south of 82nd Avenue. And I thought if my... Uh, Head east on Strathern Crescent Northwest towards Strathern Drive Northwest. And I changed the SD card. And this is GoPro 9. And so far it seems to be recording okay, but... So I called GoPro... No, not called, uh, chatted with them online. Head west on Strathern Crescent Northwest toward 89th Street Northwest. I chatted with them and uh, we agreed that it's it's an issue with the SD card and she asked me to connect the meters, turn left onto Strathford Drive Northwest. she asked me to connect the SD card to the computer with the reader and this way left onto Strathford Drive Northwest this way I was able to see some details about the card and I don't know what's going I don't know what's going on but it says date of manufacture meters. Turn left to stay on Stratford Drive Northwest date of manufacture was 2005 I'm not sure how that is possible turn left to stay on Stratford Drive Northwest then turn left onto 85th Street Northwest. Because I bought that card together with the with the camera in 2021, just over a month ago. So either there is a mis. Turn left onto 85th Street Northwest. Shut up. So either there's a mistake or that car was really sitting on a shelf somewhere for 16 years. I see a lot of kid, lots of kids near that sign for Catholic school. So either they're leaving the school or they're coming to school. So I'm going to show you some limited driving. Okay. Exit the roundabout onto 98th Avenue Northwest. Yeah, you see, that's where I, I was. For three kilometers. I was driving like this. And that's when I saw this, and I'm thinking, wait a second, the guy sent me to the park, right? So I was on this road, and then I looked over here at the top, and I saw people there standing next to the benches, and they were taking pictures of unobstructed view from this hill. So I think that's the best view. And you can see the river, you know, if you use a proper lens. Now, one thing about Alberta, that they have something called peace officer peace officer so these are the guys that could make it you know to the real force and so they got a pickup truck that says peace officer and some of them I know they they, they remove their letters E A C E and they add and they add O L I C E police but you can see that it's like domestically made, it's not even, you know. But I hate those guys. Peace officer. What is this? American, Native American reservation? But they got a bunch of those and basically, of course, I'm joking about... I'm not sure how they got to, uh, to where they are, but they're everywhere. And they dressed kind of like a police and they can do... They can give you all kinds of tickets like a police. And there's a bunch of... If you research online, Alberta 
peace officer complains you'll see a lot of people that are not happy so anyway that's one thing to know about Alberta so you gotta watch your speed you know don't pick up your phone and stuff like that just be careful oh yeah this one is here as well like nice yeah if you can oh yeah and there's a trail in there yeah this is gorgeous check this out so you guys are you guys liking it or what like if you're sitting somewhere in Australia right it's like sipping your beer and you're never gonna make it to Canada so just follow Captain Sergio on his adventures across the North America and you'll be all right all right we're turning left somewhere here 109 Street I think it's this one yeah 109 is this one South 109, what do we need? We need Northwest 109. North 109 Street, okay. In 400 meters, turn left onto 109 Street, Northwest North. Turn left? Are you sure about that? South 109 Street. North 109 Street. So which way is it? South. Turn left onto 109 Street, Northwest North. What the heck? No, it looks like I'm going south. Yeah, that way is north. This way. I don't need that. height is you see this as a truck I'm always paying attention to this 3.2 meters that's not good like for my truck I want to see when I especially when I'm loaded I want to see something like 4.2 meters or 4.3 is better which is about 14 feet but 10 feet 6 inches that's okay are we going this way Did you see that? There was a bar at the top and flashing lights. Kind of like warning truckers that don't go here. Yeah, so we're crossing the bridge. Oh, check this out. This is pretty cool. That that the bridge I, I photographed. And we're just crossing the North Saskatchewan River. So yeah, trucks cannot go here because most of them are too tall. So basically it looks like the south side of the city is more popular than like by south I mean south of the river because I asked my friend who lives here in Nisku, Liduk I said like in 400 meters continue straight onto 109th street northwest south I said this white avenue that's not exactly downtown right and he says no but if you if you go just to downtown he says all you, all you will see there is homeless people because it's continue straight onto 109 street northwest south okay which way i think it's this way in 600 meters turn right 600 meters turn right 
Okay, I better s turn on my sport mode. <laughs> I just discovered that my uh, my Hyundai Venue, like I see here the button, like a dial, and it says drive, and it says drive mode. And I start turning it, I don't see anything over here, I'm like what the heck, and then I look on the dash, and as soon as I turn it, it's showing me uh, normal, sport, and then the other one is, uh, the other one is, uh, what do you call it, snow, yeah. To the right is snow, in the middle is sport, and left is normal, which is good fuel economy. Yeah, I see a lot of people here. And so this wide avenue, uh, starting in the west from like 108, 109th Street, and then going east, that's what my friend said, that's where you'll find a lot of people walking, you know, like, because I wanted to do some street photography. And he says, you can park. Oh wait, I'm almost here, Safeway. I should I'm supposed to turn here where are we turning we're turning 100 meters turn right white Avenue turn right then your destination will be on the right ah there you go that's the shoppers drug mark unfortunately there's no there's no parking of course I can park over there 7-eleven but this is where it starts so going that way so this is west this is west that's east and that's where people are walking so i just need to get off the street and then go find parking also a lot of he said there's a lot of restaurants this guy is sleeping okay wakey wakey and so it looks like over here oh even here oh wait safeway man I'm a genius 